Now we're going to look at adding images to our Colab notebook. You see here on my sidebar, I've clicked on the folder icon and it's opened up this space here. So I can close it and then I can click here and we have this image nn.png. We're going to try and visualize this. So basically we're going to display this as a result or an output in this Colab notebook. I've already uploaded the image here. So we're just going to start with the code. And the first thing I'm going to do is import the image IO library. So this is a popular library in Python, which you can utilize to basically to read images and then display them in your program. So if I want to import this, I have an import statement, then I run this cell. And the next step is for me to read the image. So I could do that in a single code cell, or I could also do that in an Excel. In this case, I'm going to click code again and then paste this right here. So IIO is the image IO library. The IM reads method is what receives the file name. And then this is going to store the image as an array inside of the variable called IM. And we can double check that. We run this cell here. And then now if you want to display the image as an array, we can type I am just like this. And when I run this in the uh, Colab notebook, you see that we have an array and then we have all these elements here. So there is a lot of zero zeros because my array, my image has a lot of black areas. So these are supposed to be the pixels, the pixel values in my image. We can talk more about images and pixels whenever we start our image processing series. But for now, let's just look at the shape of this image. So a shape is what gives you the dimensionality of an image. Let's run this to see what it looks like. In this case, we have 720 by 1280. That is the width and the height. And then we have three here because it's a color image for RGB. So now I can display this in the Colab notebook. And to do this, I'm going to use the matplotlib library. So there is what we call pyplots in this library. We normally import it as plt. And from there, we can call a certain function called imshow to show images. And they're going to display in the outputs. So this is actually very important because whenever you have notebooks, let's say you're working in a tech company on the data science team, and you want to share some of your results visually with people from different departments. You're not always going to show them your actual code and your outputs in terms of arrays and so on. You want to be able to have illustrations in your presentations. So if you're presenting your notebook directly, then you can use things like this image IO library and also, for example, matplotlib to display your images. So let's look at how this is done. You just call the basic command plt, which is pyplots, that's I am show. And when you run this, you're going to have the results in here. So you have matplotlib, that's image, whatever. And then you have the image displaying. And you see here that the height is 720, if I'm not mistaken. So 720 was here. We have up to 700 um, on the Y axis. So it's actually for 720 pixels. And then we have 1280. So 1280 was here. It only shows in intervals of 200. So you see on the X axis, we have from zero all the way to 1200. So this was the image I was trying to show. Um, it's about um, neural networks. So I grabbed this from Wikipedia, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I have a reference right here. So when, uh, if I were to click on this and paste this, you would see the same image in the browser. But regardless, uh, the point of this video was to prove to you that Colab is not only for basic code outputs, but it can also be used to visualize or illustrate some, um, some technical information. So here you can add images and display them. So that was it for the image tutorial in Google Colab for data science. In the next video, we're going to look briefly, probably at data frames.